Family, good morning. It is the Breakfast and Bud Morning and Show. And guess what? It is Tootie. I am here, y'all. Look, like, comment, share, subscribe. We're going to have a very interesting topic today. Now, y'all already seen some of the footage that came out from Safari and Erica Mena. But listen, I love to take real life topics and apply it to us. It's somebody out here that be uppercutting their man, and we're going to talk about it today. You know what I'm saying? But for some people who do not have the background, we're going to look. So, without further ado, let's get into it. She said, Safari. I don't even I don't even know where to start. Erica crazy here. Um but I'm I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> the fact that people even whether you know me or not, you still there still has to be like a certain level of of common sense when it comes to just being I am tripping judge of character. What the fuck? And this has nothing to do with TV at all or none of that. Like this is this is real life because kids are involved and this deadbeat narrative, it's like it's just Yo, I'm still tripping at the intro, Shot it. Like I know it's probably gonna be more. We're gonna see it. But let me ask y'all a question though. Real talk. How many people really think that Safari is a deadbeat man? Drop it down in the comments. I want to get some mental... Comp I want to know what people's brains is real quick. We finna watch this shit. This shit crazy. It's just so jarring to me. It it does give me a headache sometimes, but then, you know... Damn, that nigga said it's um, jarring. I'm pretty good at just brushing things off, but, you know, people who know me and especially know my situation... <clears throat> They're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be sparing people. But then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's nobody's business. But Do y'all think there are some women out there that use children as a crutch in the way of control? Drop it down in the comments. I mean, it's going to be vice versa. But we're talking about it from a man's perspective today. We always do a lot of topics, you know what I'm saying, where women are suffering through trauma and stuff like this. Today, I want to kind of touch on it from a different perspective. So I want to know. Drop it down in the comments. Do you think that women do that? Drop it. But I feel like everybody just feels like, they know my business, and if it's reported, it's news, and that it's the truth, and it's real, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's some men out there who can relate to this, and um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing and they can't have control it it's just not gonna be a, a easy transition you can definitely tell that erica mena loves control and i feel like it's been that way since love and hip-hop since wrench dollars i seen a lot of it was sin i thought jazz vein was big right there you know what i mean i thought little perfect shit was big and two, I seen Erica Menace. Nobody vain is like Erica Menace. You know, especially when, you know, the the, the um, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. But I love my kids. And it's gotten to the point that I I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just whose anger management is just non-existent. When I first moved Yo, to Florida, she I is remember bugging. 
I, I got a two bedroom condo and the first time I had my kids Shorty come over there after my divorce and I started the whole okay visitation we and having my kids for the days I was having them. Yo, in front of the children when is fucking My kids first cooked. came over in my condo. It made me so depressed because I was like, yo. He trying so hard not to cry. That, this is fucked up, y'all. Because like dead ass series, man. A lot of us, and I'm going to be real, you know what I'm saying? I didn't watch, I didn't have, you know what I'm saying, videos where I'd be like, I don't understand why a man won't fight certain shit in court. And sometimes that court process is slow. You feel me? So what are you supposed to do when this is happening and you still wait in the court? Do you still try to go get your kids? I'm trying to understand this shit because this is crazy. They just, I felt like they were so confined. And I didn't feel good about it. I can't even smoke their blood. And... I said, yo, I got to get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves and just, it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children in a co-parenting setup. And I found my house. And I'm going to just, I'm going to be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I got this house because... Of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Seeing my kids be here running around is the best feeling, you know? You know, when you have children with somebody who, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting. Hey, on some real nigga shit, though, this is what I'm saying. Um, you got to be selective. Because look how what he just said. He was like, it shouldn't never even happen. Because, nigga, we be seeing the red flags, but we want we want that perception of love. We want to be able to post pictures on Instagram like everybody else. And we be missing certain shit. And we can't miss that shit. Because I'm going to be real with you, Shada. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've been waiting on this. But see, a red flag with me would have been with Erica Mena. Would have been with her oldest kid. Like, where the fuck is he? Why you ain't got him? You always online talking about me not being a parent. Bitch, you ain't no mama. Where is the oldest kid? That's how I would have been. But hold on, let me get into it. Because this shit crazy. You know, when you're with someone for three years and they have a child. And you probably saw the child three to four times. Facts! Because the child was put off to go live with somebody else. And, you know, you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. Sure. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's, it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says, if I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. Erica, what you be doing in this house? Yo, kid, don't even want to live with... Erica, the fuck... I, I wouldn't I wouldn't make that up, you know? And it's it, it it sucks that I gotta like really just run this down because of this smear campaign and somebody who gets such a high on just talking about me and picking and choosing what kids you want to, you know, have on the forefront and get Whatever extra attention. Yo. <laughs> Narcissistic people are crazy as hell. How can you come online knowing you did certain shit? You would seem like you would be the quietest motherfucker on the earth. Can you get off of it? You know, so I kind of just look past certain things and thought that, you know, maybe I could help and make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out 
and the two of you are just like in a weird space and Look everything at the is a fight. Look at the babies. Especially in front of the kids. Oh, like, shit. I'm not she hit the baby with the bag. My kids have never. Hold on, kids. bro. She like, hit the baby with the bag. Especially in front of the kids. Like, yeah, she I'm hit the baby all with the bag. Yet. My kids have never. Safari scared. He all in the closet. Upset. My kids have never heard me yell. When she said your other two kids is going to be miserable just like you, that means the oldest is already miserable and she knows it. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to look at the context clues. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Jerk off! Your head! Your head! Your head! Your head. Your head. Is she driving reckless with the kids in the car? All because of you. All because of you. I don't argue. That's just not in me. But, you know... On the other hand, the other side. Them po babies. They don't operate or think the way I do. And when when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and call, oh, who's there? Well, what's going on? It's just so unhealthy, so... I know women like that. Swear to God. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they, they want their motherfucking kid to be with the daddy so they can get a break. The daddy come get the kids, but then you calling every 10 minutes. This man can't even be a parent if he tried because it's like an SOS system with you and shit. Excessive I seen that part. To the point where it just creates a lot of issues. Like... You can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's an issue. You know, I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, nobody's going to let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself. I didn't have no help. I don't want a biscuit for it. I did it. You know, it just. That nigga Safari got that bumba clot D. <laughs> Because at the beginning of that video, she was like, Safari! All oh, like that nigga went and shit. He got that bumba card. <laughs> it just creates such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like, you know what? I'm going to deal with this through the courts. And when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be sorted out, then, okay, we'll figure it out. So for the past, you know, few months... That's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing because my original standing order for this child support and, and the visitation and all of that, everything, it originated from Georgia. We moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, everything has to get transferred over. It just got transferred over like this week. So now I get to find out what this new setup is going to be because I refuse to go to her house to pick up the kids. I refuse. I'm yeah, I think they need to be in custody with him like the other little boy. I think they need to be with their dads. Um, Just from that one clip, it got me disturbed as fuck. And it just lets me know, like, if she's unhinged now, she's doing this all the time when she's unhinged. And it's like, you don't know what you're going to do. She hit that little kid. She hit her little girl, uh, somebody with the bag. I seen this, I seen this whole neck, foe. I'm not. She, it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. And... It's just too unstable, too un... Damn. And Safari got a big forehead. So if that shit goes from the cusp of his haircut all the way to the middle, that's a long strike, dog. He ain't got no simple forehead. Yo, that shit. Predictable. And the only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else and I'm picking them up from there. Facts. But... Everything Protect your peace, is just King. done off of spite and being malicious intent on the other end. Damn, she broke the cat. Hey, them babies don't got no shoes on, bro. Them babies don't got no shoes me, on. I don't move like that. I don't live like that. You know, when people Yo, look at me. Yo, that's the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my like fucking I'm life, bro. Stress. I don't look like I'm losing weight. 
I don't look like like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. And I'm a father. I'm a grown ass man. When I have my kids in there with me, they're under my care. They don't have nothing to worry about. So I'm not gonna have anybody acting like they need to know every single thing going on. When I was filming Love and Hip Hop Miami and I had- Nah, on some real nigga shit? I need a, I need a, I need a droplet of unbothered this nigga has. Nah, nah, fuck that, for real. When you see how he just be having fun on the internet and he don't be saying shit to nobody, bro, but then you see clips of this shit, it ain't no fucking way, bro. Like, I need, I need to buy, cause see, but I, I get into it with somebody and that shit bother me for weeks. I need what the fuck he got. You know what I mean? See? Nah. And my kids here. Cause nigga. Calling. Oh, where, where, where the kids at? What they do? Oh, you better not be filming with the kids. Oh. First of all, I've, I've never filmed with the kids ever by myself on Love & Hip Hop. They're not a part of my storyline. That doesn't make sense to me. They're not, I'm not gonna be in the park pushing the kids, playing, oh yeah, oh, like of course they wanted to see me film with them, but you know, both parents have to sign off on that. And you know- She ain't doing it. That wasn't happening. Hell nah. And um, you know, the last, the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids, it was, she called me and said, hey, I'm in the area. I can save you a trip. I could come pick the kids up. Nah. And, um, you should have did that. Um, I, I'm tired and I don't want to do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in. You let that demon back in. You know what I'm saying? You had to, you had to cast it out. Don't, don't never fall for that in the middle of the night type of shit. The kids, ain't, the kids sleep. Come in the morning. S lay down in the kids' room. One of the kids was in there, next to the kids was laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all of that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids, where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion about something that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget it. Just, you know, you here, pick them up, you can leave. And in my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, I would like police presence here because I want her to leave. Because so Shawty crazy. Calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops here for me. You're the one with the anger management problem just... Going off, so break stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. Nah, bro. She got pedals and shit all on this man's floor. Got the kids walking all through that shit. The cat over there broken shit. Glass After everywhere. That, I just was like, you know what? That is fucking insane. If I can't pick up my kids in a place that is like a drop off point or a police precinct, <laughs> I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to <laughs> protect your peace. Word. In life. My daughter, she has an iPad. I'm blocked on the iPad. My daughter's four years old. She doesn't know how to block people, she doesn't even know how to text. Um, Childish, just like BS like that. So I'm like, okay. Um, the next time I got my kids after that, oh, no, prior, before that, when um, I went and I was going to get a restraining order because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I give me a PTO too. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my God, what is that? Pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God! What is that? <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, no, in the morning, I did. Pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my God, what is that?
Help me, Jesus. Where the fuck she get a ladder from at this time of night? No, nah, this ain't real, shouty. This is fucking sending me to a different stratosphere. Nigga, hold up, bro. Hold up, time. Man, I cannot wait to open up these calls. I cannot wait to open up these calls. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, my God. What is that? I'm so sorry. Woo! Shout it. Hold on. I gotta move this bitch. I gotta see all of this, dog. <laughs> Banging on my windows. Safari. My son's birthday party was like a month after Safari, that. Safari, I no, need the whole thing. A while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, hey, you want a restraining order, but um, you. So far, I need the whole tape. There, so I'll pay fifty dollars ninety nine for that whole tape. So I have to drop that case. And this is me having to have two different lawyers. This is two nah, different lawyers. Bro. For the, for, for nah, bro. Nah, fuck that. that. We can't just skip this over this shit. Family court thing. We can't just skip and over this shit. Where she get the ladder? I got so many questions. I got so many questions. Next time I got them, it was for you know beginning of the summer, and I was like, yo, I'll keep the kids for the summer. Let me know. My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them. They want to be around them. That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So. When That's why she be playing them stepmother uh, characters on Tubi so good. She crazy the motherfucker. And she does great work. Now I know it, she ain't even out of character. She, she just go to work. I finally do get them. I signed them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. <laughs> summer camp, I'm like, cool, I got them. Let me at least do that. Cause you know, they were here. My mother's like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing whatever, whatever she was like, they need some, you know, structure. Sign them up for summer camp. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid $2,000 to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days because she had such an issue with me putting them in summer camp by my house and it was like why didn't i talk to her blah 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 and it's like okay i mean i agree that she sh he should have talked to her and said you know why the kids is gonna be with me for the summer you know what i'm saying i want to put them in some activities i feel like she should have known but if he's gonna have the kids for the summer and he decides to want to put them in camp I don't think there should be an issue with that. I mean, hold on, ladies. I mean, mamas in the chat. Yeah, I mean, if dad did that, is y'all having any issues with that? Is it a, a safety issue? Like, what is it? Okay, I have the kids. They're under my watch and care. I want to put them in a summer camp by me. And I'm so I'm sorry, go, Nikki Irene. Just, like, <laughs> not just talking, just to talk, but that shit sent me. Put them in summer camp. This was the first month. This is what it was supposed to do. This is what it's supposed to be. This oh, is the schedule. Got the calendar Summer camp shit. July. Boom, boom, boom. The entire month. This was going to be their schedule for the entire yeah, that month. Ain't cool. This is their lunch schedule. This is one of the things she made for me Aww. in one of the days that she was in summer camp. So I'm like. I think it would be better for them to be in camp a little bit. Because even though they at dad's house, I mean, it's only going to really be consistent of like, you know, if dad don't take you nowhere, you're just going to be in the crib. I think that was a good look, right? Okay. What's wrong with putting the kids in summer camp? And it just was such a control thing. And it created like... Like, it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put them in summer camp. Oh, uh, just nothing made absolute any sense. Nothing. Like, it was just such an irate, ignorant, 
conversation to the point where we don't even speak direct. Like, my house is set up for them. This, I got their shrine set up. Why would you say shrine? Shrine just give me dimbella, you know? Give me the power. Like, you don't want shrine. Just say, what y'all supposed this to say? It must be shrine, this right? This is their area. They, 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 you walk in. Aww. This is Maji's room. Ain't no, ain't no deadbeat doing this. Deadbeats ain't doing this. My daughter, my daughter's room is bigger than than some adults' rooms, and it's just so insane to me how people just. Well, show us the sun room too, nigga. What the fuck? You ran out? Oh yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats, and this situation is all about control. This woman text a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them. Oh, Erica, you can't send that man meat to his mama. And everybody seen safari meat. Like, come on, bro. How you gonna do? No, that's, that's, I figure since I know your son is such a liar and since I know he lies on me all the time to you and your daughter, just figure I inform you, damn. Know that, oh, you, you and your, oh. your just figure I inform you of him being up in my bed last night. It's ironic how he paints me out to be such a hateful monster, but yet won't leave me alone. Erica, you still feeling all mean and shit after you get the D? Yeah, you, yeah. Son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. Okay. Me and you oh, are still, crazy. you know, having a relation, and that's over with. Thank no, God, like, that's who's gonna over send somebody? Like, they, you know, I, I pray you know, about somebody, that mama, and, they and, sons, and there's absolutely me. nothing physical going on anymore. And yeah, he might be right on this. Taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? Facts. My mother and my sister are the most least problematic people on she earth. She could have just sent a picture of him mothers. sleeping in the bed with like her, like this, this send a butt naked ass rah, picture rah, somebody mama a crazy. Ignorant nonsense. Fuck like my mother is so calm and zen. And anyone who knows my mother and my sister and what they do, Scan like them my folks. sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very, everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. For what? And it's like, that's the type of nonsense I have to deal with. I cannot ever pick up my kids in peace. Everything. Yo, he might be eating this up to blow up his page, but guess what? It'll be fair game. Because I've seen Erica Mena on countless shade room posts when this man is not doing absolutely nothing. So you know what? At this point, nobody can't say shit. It's fair game. She put up a lot of shit with this man not saying nothing. So if this nigga want to start a YouTube and capitalize off of it, then it's fair game. That's just how I feel about that shit. It's my opinion only. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah, I would eat it up too. You know what I'm saying? She just been goddamn going crazy for no reason. Why not? And get paid. It's just <laughs> shit. Long and hell yeah, long I do it. Out. And it's just so unfair that when a woman says something no matter what it's like oh it's the man's fault people are like but you you, you didn't know and i'm kind of like you know what well I, I thought i could make somebody not be just like as angry but then when things just started like going sour and not working out it just became just it's just not even realistic to deal so far i mean it's not it's not like it's far-fetched man because we seen erica Mendon when she was with sin you know what i'm saying if if, if she couldn't even really come become with a woman bro listen to what i'm saying hear me out with a woman bro like she needs some self-help she needs some self-reflection it's some therapy it's some deep-rooted issues it's some shit she got to go through because my nigga you ain't grabbing no light no ladder do you know a ladder ain't light <laughs> If it was coming through the streets, she was going to get over that fence by any means necessary. And then she galloped. Like, see, no, nah, nigga, that type of shit scared me. It ain't nothing cute about that type of shit. Like that at all. I don't want nobody want me like that. I saw somebody say one time, Fuck and I that. totally felt it. And if you're a father, I know you could, you could relate to this. And it's like, they're like, yo, 
when you're dealing with a woman who makes you being a parent just they just make it so hard it is so draining dealing with someone who's trying to draw you out someone who wants a reaction from you someone who talks about you non-stop because they want a reaction I, I don't, I'm not one of those people. I don't, I don't care about people this is liking tricky. me and caring and, and, and proving my point. Like, hey guys, look, um, no, this isn't true. This is what's really happening. I, yo, people who know me, my mouth has been quiet for no. years, years. I don't say nothing. This is just so draining, like everything about it. Like her, her own, her own family is is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not trying to be there. See, yeah, he got a big point. Cause see, that would have been my first red flag, Safari. Like, why isn't the relationship the way it's supposed to be? I'm not about to be procreating with you, and I see you already not being a mother to your other kid. You know what I mean? That's crazy as hell, shawty. It's like you wasted sperm. You feel me? Like dead ass. But y'all got to start choosing wisely. Protect y'all nuts, family. Because see, look at this shit. Nah, for real, for real, bro. Like seriously. And I'm open-minded. I be looking at both spectrums. This ain't right. She crazy as hell. She got kids walking on glass. She grabbing ladders. She's doing the absolute most. If I was this nigga, shot I would be scared too. For my kids, I would love to be there for my kids. But it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let me be a father. Let me take my kids and go wherever I want with them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to worry about nothing. This is not about money. This is not about child support. My kids love me. The red shorts love is me. sending me. The red shorts sending me down. He got on them hoochie daddies, boy. Look at them knees and shit. So far, he stop it. You too big up top and too small at the bottom to do that. Don't do that. Did she just say she don't want to go to mommy house? <laughs> no, chill out. Did she just say that? Hold on. <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> Mommy, she was missing you. She was looking for you. Y'all, I'm going to be real, y'all. No, nah, that speak volumes, y'all. That speak volumes, y'all. Oh, no. Nah. I just want to say, like, you know, doing shit like this, this don't benefit me. Oh. This don't help me like I don't like this kind of attention that's why I usually never say anything but this thing has been going on for so long that it's like how much longer am I gonna let ish slide you know it's 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 so much it's just so much things to list and name like I would have to sit there I mean that's like two out of three children saying that I mean like the oldest son said that he would unalive itself if he had to live with his mama and then this little girl crying like she about to die if she got to go home you got to start looking at type of shit like that bro because the way that i look at it my nigga if you would spaz out on him you would spaz out on your kids bro like i don't trust none of that type of shit her her fucking her her demeanor is too impulsive you feel what I'm saying? Like, dead ass seriously, she had been around and fucked around and hurt my child by mistake because you don't know how to handle yourself. We've seen two incidences in that small ass clip to where she could have harmed them kids. Let's just be real. Let's keep it a stack. She swung the bag and hit the little girl in the head. And then you got these kids walking on glass, walking through glass. You know what I'm saying? Barefoot. Shawty, you got to grow up. I don't give a fuck what, what the D hitting. Like, bitch, you got to grow up. Yeah, with you gotta the, grow up. Uh, pen and pad and write down every single incident and all that but i don't this is I, i'm doing this one and one time only like but it's just it's just a lot of corny shit all the fake instagram pages harassing my mother harassing my sister if i'm talking to a girl 
all of a sudden the girl starts getting harassed from the same fake Instagram names and it's like yo it it it, it, it takes so much energy to to like be like that and I don't have that type of energy I, even doing this right now is giving me such a headache and I'm not the kind of person to get headaches my head is pounding right now just talking about all this but you know at the end of the day I'm gonna let you know God is gonna do what God is gonna do and that's gonna be that like this ain't no it's not a storyline I'm not on loving hip hop this is my real life right now I'm 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 really I'm tired you know um I I I heard somebody one time say like when you go through things in life, nothing stays the same, nothing lasts forever. And that's kind of how I've been dealing with this. Like, you know, even with as long as I've you know, not seen my kids, because you know, whether it's right or wrong, I'm just standing on, yo, I'm not going to your house to pick up the kids. I don't, priest. Bro, whatever the fuck she got on, he, ain't, he don't want to go in the vicinity of Shawty. And I'm just saying I get it, bro, because that type of shit was... Yo, he is adamant. That nigga said, like, I will pick up the kids from a precinct before I get them from your house. <laughs> or somebody from your family's house. Hold on. Hey, Lisa Ninja Turtle. Bebe told me you have the kids. Let me know about me picking them up. I've been asking about them and trying to call Maggie iPad, but I must be blocked on it. Unblock um, me if you can on it. I know Madge doesn't know how to block me, and I'm sure you want some time to yourself. I wanted to keep them for a month, but I'm not playing no playing any kitty games about it. So he he trying to negotiate the kids with somebody else. Dog, the kids ain't with Erica, or this is this from trying to this the way he got to pass messages. Yeah, this is terrible. That I'm, that I don't have no issue with going over going over there, and that's that. But like. I'm I'm not I'm not going I'm not putting myself in any position to crash out, potentially snap, nah. lose my like come on cuz there's people who be in situations like this. Everyone's not able to like be this cool. This shit is draining. When you get to a certain age in life, like yo, drama and just all of this corny nonsense and fighting and and arguing on the internet, putting your personal business on the internet, on social media to people who don't like, yo, I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. I don't need sympathy. I don't need pity. I don't care about none of that from nobody. I know at the end of the day what's going on and that's that. I'm just dealing with someone who doesn't deal with logic. They deal with their way or no way. And if it's not their way, you're going you're gonna to get harassed and I don't got time. I don't got... I'm still thinking about Erica with that ladder. Bro, you got, no, nah, y'all got to hear me out with this shit. It is four in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, you, you got to be that perturbed. You know what I'm saying? To do some shit like that. Look, you got to go get a ladder. I need so much more of that video because I really need to know where she got that ladder from. I really need to know where she got that ladder from. If she brought that ladder with her... <laughs> Time, yo, I don't care what nobody's doing. I'm not harassing you. You DMing girls that I was talking to and and and, and telling them shit and saying it's like yo, it's corny. <laughs> yo, send to me, bro. I did that once. I did that once. And when I did it, I, I didn't send pictures and videos and say, yo, look, this is what's happening. I just was like, yo. I want to talk to you because I like on some, hey, look, if this is who you're dealing with, I just want to let you know that this is what's happening. And if y'all are dealing, then leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't really about that. I'm just trying to have my, my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York and, and spend some time with them there. And it's just nothing, nothing is easy. Everything is a fight. And I don't fight, I don't argue, it's draining. I'm not, I don't, I don't, nope, I'm, I'm not doing it. So, 
when all this core stuff is said and done, it is what it is. This is, it's, this is not about child support. So this thing ain't about, it's not about money. It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. It's about let me be a father, stay out the way, and that's it. Stop trying to act like you don't care when you do care. Stop harassing my mother, stop harassing my sister, stop harassing anyone that's close to me. And this is not to bash, this is just the truth. This is just what it is. So that narrative that everyone just thinks is so cool to run, like you, you use common sense. If I haven't seen my kids, there is a reason. And this is the reason. You're going to see it. You're going to see everything. Oh, they brought the ladder back. They brought the ladder She got over that ladder with flip flops, yo. Did she really hop this man's gate? Y'all gotta admit this ain't right, y'all. She ain't supposed to be hopping no gates, y'all. Hold on, I just gotta see her walk up with the ladder one more time. This shit sending me. Hold on, let me just have my moment. Shit, everything. Funny, but it is. I'm so look, she boy, she could look at her galloping. Look at her galloping. She trying to look. Nah, look at how her chest is heaving. She must have, look at that, look at the vein. She must have, she, she must have thought somebody was up in that motherfucker. Erica, Erica, you can't let this one down, Erica. What the fuck? Hold on, let's see what she's saying completely. Hold on. Let's get up. Y'all got to, I got to see the run one more time. She said, Safari, Safari, please, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> so, why are you doing this to me, man? Man, we need the audio, but I can read a lot. Nah, real shit, though. It's the little girl. She is breaking my heart. The little girl is so scared, shawty. That shit breaking my heart, bro. Hold on. Let me move this out the way, bro. Yeah, that shit. This ain't cool. Because the little girl, she is, is like really breaking my heart, bro. Look how she just flinched like that, bro. That ain't cool. Erica, you got to control yourself, sir. Look at the little girl. Look at the little girl. You know what's so crazy? I'm looking at this little girl and she trying to protect her daddy. She keep trying to go to her daddy. I mean, I know y'all probably think I'm, I'm almost, listen, I smoke, but I look at shit like this, bro. Like when you look at this little girl, shot it like she, she see this with her mother, bro. Look at the little girl the whole time. Don't look at nothing else. Just look at the little girl. I ain't even bullshitting. For real, for real. Look, look at this shit. This poor baby.
That's some terrible shit, bro. No cap. That's some terrible shit. Hey, so y'all already know what we about to do. You know what I'm saying? We about to open up these phone lines because let's not be real. Let's be real. We've seen these situations and shit happen. We've seen them happen. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to also tap into what Erica Mena posted as well. We're going to get two sides of the story. But before we go over to her, we're going to go over here and talk about this. You feel me? Y'all stay tuned. We finna get into it.